question like this, yan ang tatalakayin natin ngayon. Hi there! Thank you for watching this video. This video is part of the series that I'm making for the incoming licensure examination for agriculture. If you are new to this video, kindly click the subscribe button below, like and share for you to be notified if I have a new videos to be uploaded. I am going to switch over my PC to teach you how. Alright! Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is what types of fruit is strawberry. So madaming nagtatanong nito, uh, yung nagre-review pa ako. Uh, marami nagtatanong and then marami ding mali ang sagot or let's say uh, nagda-doubt pa rin no, sa mga sagot nila kung bakit yun ang naging uh, sagot sa, sa tanong na ito. Uh, we have here the choices. Letter A, berry. Letter B, samara. Letter C, achine. And letter D, hope. You can hit pause no, if you want to answer the question before proceeding to discussion. And pag-uusapan din natin kung uh, bakit yung ang sagot sa tanong na ito. Okay? So, hit pause now if you want to answer this question. Alright, since na kapag uh, sagot ka na, so yung ating uh, proceed na tayo ngayon sa discussion. Okay? So, we have here now the two types of uh, Fruits, we have the fleshy fruits and the dry fruits. So, yung unang muna natin discuss is yung fleshy fruits, okay? So, ano ba yung under or category ng under, uh, category under fleshy fruits? We have here the berry, okay? So, number one is berry. Berry has an entirely fleshly ovary like tomatoes, dates, bananas, peppers, and cranberries. Okay, guys? So, number two natin is yung hesperidium, okay? We have here the hesperidium has a leathery rind. Example niya is yung mga orange, uh, lemons, limes, no? Yung, let's say, sabi saya pa yung panit, no? Uh, sa Tagalog, yung balat niya. And number three naman is we have pepo, okay? So, pepo naman, defined by hard rind and a fleshy inner matrix, no? Example, we have watermelons, cantaloupe, squash, and pumpkins, no? Uh, so, you can see naman dito sa ating picture, no? Pagpupukin mo siya, yan... Uh, magpupukin mo siya sa gamit yung kamay mo, no? parang may maririnig ka na something sounds all of, no? uh, parang kweba o something ganon. Uh, yun lang ang example ko sa pepo. So, we have actually here the picture for you to uh, retain no? or, or para mas maalala nyo pa kung ano ba talaga yung example ng pepo. And we have here number four, the droop. Okay, droop is a fruit with a fleshy exterior and a single hard stony pit surrounding the seed. Example niyan is cherries, peaches, olives, mango, raspberry, coconut, and plums. Okay, Exam example natin, let's say example natin yung mango. No, yung, yung fleshy exterior ng mango, we have here the picture. Fleshy exterior ng mango is that a fleshy siya. So, maka nakakain, no? nakakain yung uh, fleshy exterior niya. Uh, pwede nga, una-una, uh, uh, gawin natin is uh, yung part lang ng... Uh, Uh, na pwedeng kainin. Yung, yung sa exterior part, yung flesh exterior part na pwedeng kainin. Yung sa mango. Next naman is, number five, we have poems, no? Poems have a fleshy exterior and a center with a peppery carpal. Sa example niyan, this is yung apples and pears, no? Yung nakakain yung flesh exteriors niya. The same thing din sa drop. However, yung, yung nga lang, no? Yung, yung surrounded ng seed ng, uh, ng drop is like a stony pit. Pero dito naman sa poems naman is that We have the center, the center, the center with the pepper, peppery carpels. Nya example, yung apples and pears. Ah, pwede nyo din ah, as you can see here sa image nato, no, yung yung ah seeds non, no, hindi naman siya like like a droop, hindi naman siya stony pit, no, yung surrounded ng seeds nya, no, it's like it's look like a paper carpels, no. And then next naman is yung mga category under fleshy fruits, no, we have berry, hesperidium, pepo, droop, and Poems, no? Baka lalabas sa exam yan, guys, no? Kasi this is what also part of the basic principles of crop science. Next naman is we have here the dry fruits, okay? Dry fruits naman is, uh, we have two types. We have indecent fruits, uh, which is those that do not split open at maturity and are usually one or two seeded. And we have also here the example of indecent fruits. We have Achini, Caryopsis, Samara, Net, Oracle, and Nutlet. Th those in head, in these and fruits, yung mga fruits na like, uh, yung seeds nila like, yung sa mga rice, no? We have corn, uh, we have strawberry, ganun. So, malalaman natin later kung saan ba talaga nabibilong itong si uh, strawberry. What type of fruits 
uh, is strawberry belongs. So next naman, we have number two, another type of dry fruits also. We have decent fruits, no? Yung decent fruits naman, it's a fruits that split open upon, open upon maturation, no? We have here the examples. We have a uh, legume, follicle, uh, capsule, and pyxis. So, so yan, pag-uusapan na natin. So, we have here indecent fruits and decent fruits. So, ang una muna natin pag-uusapan is yung indecent fruits. No? Yung una-una talaga is yung achini. So, wha what is this achini means? Achini is a single-seeded fruit with seed attached at only one place to the pericard. Example nito is yung sunflower and strawberry. Okay? So, here now, nakikita natin there is a word strawberry. Alright, so there's a word strawberry here. So now, uh, hindi pa natin yan, let's say, i-conclude na this really achini, no? So one of the choices naman doon is yung achini. So let's proceed down to the next. We have here letter B, caryopsis, okay? So what na, what is the meaning of caryopsis? Caryopsis is uh, similar to an achini. So similar as to an achini. However, the pericarp sticks or clings to the seed. Example, we have corn, rice, barley, ray, amaranth, sorghum, uh, oat, and wet. So we have here the pictures for you to know what is that caryopsis means. Next is is Samara. Okay, Samara is usually usually single seeded with a membranous wing. Example is a maple, elm, and ash. No, so kung sa bahay kubo meron din doon. No, yung sa mga, sa bahay, kantang bahay kubo, no, meron doon in these fruits, which is Samara. Sam, sa, in Samara is yung cigarillas, yun no. Yun ang example ng in these fruits, Samara. No, yung, yung, yung membrano swing, may membrano swing siya. So, makikita nyo naman dito sa ating picture, no, that example of Samara. And we have here na letter D, we have nut. Okay, nut, a hard one seeded fruit, example, we have oak, walnut, filbert, and hickory. So we have here the pictures for you to know what is the meaning of not, okay? And other other than that, no, meron din, uh, actually, may mga questions, di, di mga, like, mga confusing questions na, uh, is a peanut is a not? May mga ganun, no, my question, is a walnut is a not? Ganun, ganun. So yun ang pag-uusapan natin next video. So we have here letter E. E is urical. Okay, the urical, urical like an achini, but the ovary wall fits loose, loosely around the seed. Example is we have finger millet and pig with pig wet. And lastly, we have nutlet. Okay, nutlet is a small version of a nut. Example is a birch and horn bean. As you can see, there's actually a picture for you to, you know, um, photograph no doing some mga. Uh, examples. This is my examples of these and fruits. Okay, we have achini, caryopsis, samara, nut, urical, and nutlet. And okay, next naman, we have also under these and fruits, no? We have legume or pod, composed of a single carpal and has two long longitudinal sutures. Example, um, example, soybeans, green beans, and peas. Those are legumes. Okay, and we have also letter B, the follicle. So follicle, we have follicle. So follicle is composed of a single carpal and splits open along one suture. We have example here is a milkweed. So as you can see, there's a picture for you for you to identify, no, for you to you know, uh, photograph what is follicle all about. Okay, so we have also letter C, capsule. Are composed of more than one carpel and are united and form many seed fruits, example okra and cotton. Okay, so makikita nyo naman what is example of capsule, no? Yung, yung, yung structure niya, yung physical structure niya is really a capsule. And we have here letter D, we have pyxis, okay? Pyxis, uh, a type of capsules with a lid that falls from the fruit, example is yung purslane, a purslane, sorry. Those are the example of these and fruits or legume, follicle, uh, capsule, and taxes. Okay, now uh, going back to our uh, question, no, yung what types of fruits is a strawberry is? So yun na, uh, what types of fruits is strawberry? So we already discussed, no, ano ba talagang strawberry? Okay, we al I already discussed those, we have types of fruits, we have the fleshy fruits, we have the dry fruits, no, for you to know and to identify which really strawberry belong. Okay, now, uh, those choices, we have choices here, the berry, the samara, the achini, and the pom. So now, 
the question is what types of fruits is a strawberry Wait for you to know what is the correct answer okay so now uh let us do the uh elimination okay this is what we call one of my techniques in answering question like this like confusing questions or actually all the choices that given the specific uh, questions are actually correct however you need to find the best correct answer uh, let's start with samara okay okay as as you can see no yung samara is uh nga, balikan natin yung discussion no it it has you know membranous wing so the question is the strawberry is strawberry by is my membranous wing sa seeds niya so therefore di ba wala so the, let us so therefore hindi siya strawberry is not a Samara. So, let us eliminate this one. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya yung sagot. Okay. Now, is, we have letter D, poem. Si strawberry ba is a poem? Nasa labas naman yung seed ni strawberry. So, hindi siya poem. Right? So, hindi siya like apple. Si strawberry. Okay? So, pero nakakain naman yung kanyang flesh. But then, hindi siya like a poem. Like poem is, nasa loob yung seeds niya. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya yung correct answer. So, eliminate natin to. Okay. Next, now, we have here the berry and the uh, achini left. Okay. Now, the, this is one of the reasons why uh, makakonfuse tayo. Si strawberry ba is a berry because it has, you know, a name, uh, it has a name berry no connected dun sa kanyang pangalan no? one one ano lang siya it's one word lang siya which is berry so pag nala pag may word na pala na berry so ibig sabihin that is a berry so ganun so we should know the physical property of that fruits no specific fruit now the question is what types of fruit what types of fruits is strawberry strawberry is not really berries in the botanical sense they are derived from a single flower with more than one ovary, making them an aggregate fruit. The strawberry, however, has its dry yellow seeds on the outside, each of which is actually considered a separate fruit. And you know, don't you know, guys, that uh, strawberry is also an aggregate, aggregate fruit like you know, an apple, you know. so therefore. Since the word dry is there, yellow seeds, no? So, na, kung balikan natin dun sa, <coughs> kung babalikan natin yung ang ating discussion, no? Kung babalikan natin yung discussion that uh, dry, under dry fruits, we have indecent and decent fruits, right? So, under dun, we have an example there is the strawberry, which is the achini, okay? So, Still, no, uh, ang question na, sinabi naman dun sa, we already defined what is a strawberry means, that strawberry is not a berry. So, it means that a strawberry is not a berry, and the correct answer is a chini. Okay, so this is the correct answer to the question. A chini. So, what type of fruits is strawberry? That is a chini. If you confuse, still confuse, oh, bakit siya chini? Bakit hindi siya berry? Okay? Bakit hindi siya samara? Bakit hindi siya poem? So, why not go back to the videos and go back to the discussion for you to know why the correct answer is a chini. Alright! Hoping na may natutunan kayo sa discussion natin ngayon. Do not forget to click the subscribe button below. Like and share for you to be notified if may bago po akong updates. And do not forget to pray and take care always and God bless and bye-bye for now.